people gathered at the Indianapolis Speedway because that had a great, great view of it. That's also where Nikki Rail, NASA's flight director, uh, watched the eclipse. She joins us now. Uh, Nikki, you watched it from Indianapolis. There was a lot of excitement leading up to this solar event. Did it live up to expectations? Absolutely. It was truly incredible. It, it was an absolutely incredible event, and um, we've been planning for this for so long. I was so thrilled to be able to visualize the corona and be here with the crowd and the excitement and race cars and rockets and space, like the, all of my passions in life. It was phenomenal. <laughs> race cars, rockets, and space. Um, when you say you've been planning for this a long time, what do you mean by that? What were you planning? I know NASA had several experiments going on during this eclipse. What were you hoping to learn? So we did. We were able to really capitalize on this event. We knew it was coming. Um, it's first and foremost an opportunity for all of us to visualize the corona, which was really the star of the show, and to see what's happening in that corona. We actually were able to see some flare activity, and we were able to see some streamers coming out of the corona. We had sounding rockets that were launching before, during, and after the eclipse. They're going to work on visualizing in 3D the ionosphere, which is the upper part of the atmosphere that's electrically charged and kind of an en energy conduit from the sun. We also had jets chasing the path of the um, a path of the eclipse to take measurements and we had students putting balloons up also supporting measurements and, and collecting data to put this, put this big puzzle together of how our star uh, was behaving during this eclipse yeah so Nikki what is it you tell me more specifically what it is you hope to learn from all those various experiments what is what do we what do we learn by watching the corona and actually getting to witness those flares I saw that on the television coverage as well it was pretty spectacular what does all that mean so one thing that's fascinating is the corona is a little bit of a mystery. Um, the corona is actually hotter than the surface of the sun. Solar wind actually speeds up as we move through it. We have spacecraft strategically positioned around the sun, around the earth, all the way out to the far reaches of interstellar space with our Voyager spacecraft. And so what we can do is by taking the data that we collected today and comparing it with observational information from our fleet of spacecraft, we're able to start better understanding activity around driving solar wind, which influences space weather, which actually has an influence here on Earth, um, and trying to put that puzzle together. So it's not a, it's not a tomorrow we've got answers, but it's a, over the course of months ahead, comparing this data with our spacecraft, we start to put together these pieces of the puzzle that are missing to build models to better understand the sun. Yeah, we're all looking at it as, as a, this incredible celestial event, and you guys are looking at it as this amazing opportunity to get some data about how the solar system and the universe works. Um, but back down here on Earth, I'm, I'm just curious, you know, we, animals were said to behave differently during that time. They thought it was nightfall as the temperature drops. Um, I, I even felt like my own circadian rhythm was a little awry today as, as the, it got really dark here in New York City. Um, what struck you most and do we see a lot of, of changes in animal behavior as the eclipse uh, comes on? You know, that's a great question. We absolutely do see those changes. You know, I had friends that were kind of, and colleagues that were all in different places. One reported to me from Texas that the cows started heading home in the pasture as soon as the eclipse began because they thought it was evening time. My experience was, you know, hair standing on end. This was very eerie, magical, like citizen of Earth watching what is happening with our sun. And one thing that was a little bit silly was, you know, the bugs came out and uh, I was doing some shots for NASA at the time and, and all of a sudden swarmed with the evening evening critters. So it was like even they fi figured it out pretty quickly. We weren't able to hear any noises uh, in Indy um, with all the, the crowd and what was going on here. But I, I did enjoy hearing from some of my colleagues about birds changing their behavior as well as insects. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.